today. From the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. It's week 12 of the NFL on EA Sports. a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Houston Texans and the New Orleans Saints. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Lonnie Johnson picks it. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So here are the Saints now with great starting field position. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. He threw for nearly 350 yards. His team won. And one word just kept coming to mind as I watched him during the game. Surgical. Absolutely surgical. That's why he won NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, very precise. The throws, maybe as accurate as he's been in some time. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Benardrick McKinney coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after him. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. So second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. And here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he's going to be brought down. He needed to get to the 20, but he's a yard or two short. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And some space here. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Marquez Callaway, his first touchdown on the year. And the Saints have taken the early lead. 
So really a nice drive there for the first points of the game. And how about the fact that it was a run by the wide receiver that got him into the end zone, Brandon? You know, these guys, we know they're not afraid to open up the playbook, and they showed it to us right there on the first drive. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. Five plays there on that drive. And the camper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This out past the 20 to the 24. First and 10 at their own 24 yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. Not the start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game, it leads to six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Yeah, a little bit of humor. Got to laugh that one off and not the ha ha. That was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Number two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, Johnson. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. The ball carrier. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. It's a gain of two yards. Back to throw, Watson. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Intended for Duke. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. This is fielded at the 27. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything is working pretty well for the defensive yeah, what's guy. What's going on on the defensive yeah, side? That's a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. And that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. First and, ten. and that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. They'll run on first down. Timmons. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. The tackle made. The numbers for him from a week ago. 24 carries, 127 yards. And the way they ran the ball in last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and three. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. A gain of three. 
It's now fourth down and less than a yard. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And he was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. The Texans take over first and 10. At their Houston set to take over, and the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, <laughs> two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Number 25. The stop was made by Gennard Avery. The tackle made at the 24-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. From the 24, Watson. He gets it left side to Johnson. Watson's it's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be third down. A gain of four, and it's third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. And here now the punter, Martin, booming this one away. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here are the Saints to take over. They've got the lead yet again in this ball game with their winning streak right now sitting at 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Saints are able to strike quickly for six. And sometimes those slants, they can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it, it just happens so quickly. And really, it what gets set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. And he went all the way into the end zone. Good to make it 14 nothing. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. They're on 20-yard line. And now out comes Houston. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And some room to work. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. He's Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. There's a first down throw that's complete. Watson's pass. The numbers for Cooks in that game last week, four catches, 52 yards. This defense is ranked near the bottom of the league against the pass. You get the sense that he feels like if he gets covered on any call, he's going to be upset. He thinks he should be open on every snap in this game. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Watson. They look underneath and dump it off to Duke Johnson. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 45-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Watson on target here to Fuller. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10. At the Again, it's Watson. Going to throw right side here, complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 34-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 28, it's second and five. Watson looks to throw again. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's third down. And five. To the air yet again, Watson. Buying time to his left. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. These type of plays are backbreakers for our defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the 10. The Texans with the first opportunity now from the red zone. They've got a first and goal from the 10-yard line. And he's going to go down, Sack back at the 13-yard line. The pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get out the quarterback. Yeah, absolutely, four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles, but also when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Duke Johnson. A nice run there. Eight yards moves him much closer to the goal line now for third down. Now Watson on third and goal. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. They run. It's Johnson. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Duke Johnson, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Texans draw a bit closer. Well, they just put a little sizzle in their state there. First quarter, fourth and goal, run it in. A boost. I think they showed confidence in their defense by going for it. That's telling their defense, look, we're counting on you. We're counting on you guys, and we know that we believe in you because we go for it here. Even if we don't get it, get field position on our side, and you'll stop them. Instead, they put it in the end zone and tally up six points. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Greg Zerline. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having... And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 
three-yard line. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. Then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. After the interception, here's Watson. Making the catch is Sternberger. Watson's five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five. And they'll hand it off now, Johnson. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 23. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Three-yard line. A five-yard down, Johnson. And the Texans. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Duke Johnson. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. It's second and eight. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They toss it out right to Johnson. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. That burst good for 20 and a first down. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. It's the fullback. His first touchdown on the year. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> now, we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score. Well, they've got it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Good for 21 yards on the catch and run. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Entertaining start, 14 all the score on EA Sports. 14-14. Back 
back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a give right side. Timmons dropped at the 35, so able to display his strength, but not much room to operate. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's second and eight. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 25-yard line. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. A give to the fullback on the dive. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Carried by the fullback. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Three-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. J.J. Watt. He's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. Two sacks last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. There are a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. The Saints on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 14. That's caught by Marquez Callaway. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. On first down, Timmons. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Malik Jefferson in there on the stop. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. His pass caught at the four. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open. And they open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Michael Thomas with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Saints have taken the lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A 10-play drive that time. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And the Texans set to come onto the field. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. At the 30-yard line. A gain of five. Bring From the gun, seven. here's Watson. That's into the hands of Isaiah Coulter. 
And he's brought down after a very nice gain. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. It's a gain of 20. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. First down carry here for Johnson. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. Watson's pass complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Forced out to his left. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. On the keeper. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. On third down, the defense decided to blitz. A very good job of recognizing it, stepping away from the pressure, and finding open space to scramble and pick up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. Going right side here, and that's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon Cooks. It's a gain of five. Brings up Throwing again on second down. Watson, pass hauled in by the 6'4 tight end Sternberger. Watson's and he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. It's a gain of 20. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Off the draw. Here's Johnson, and he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. The tackle made at the six-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. To throw on second and six. Watson, that's complete right around the eight. Watson's pass. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for loss yardage. The Texans on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Operating from the gun, Watson, and that is caught. Touchdown, Texans! Jay Sternberger, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. Zerline good with a PAT. And we've got a tie game here at a back and forth first half. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Michael Thomas now heading back onto the field. And we've got a tie game. He has the two touchdown catches that we take a peek at. Does he have a third in his repertoire to break this tie? It's hard to say that he doesn't based on what we've seen so far. I remember when I was coaching Brandon, I went and saw a guy at a clinic, and all he talked about was, I want players that make plays that count. That's exactly what we're seeing from him here. Yeah, he's made two that count, trying to make it three. They'll try and run with their fullback. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decide to make it a priority, and it's working out. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Looking to throw. A throw, but incomplete. Had to pass there third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. We'll get the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A gain of two. Brings up second and the gun. Watson. Fuller brings it in. Taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. First down. And they run the option here on first and 10. Got a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. From the 45 on second down, Watson, he's got it. The tight end, Allen. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. A gain of 12. 12 yards there as they move the chains. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw, Watson to the tight end and completed Sternberger over the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They go back to the ground with Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Duke Johnson, the ball carrier. He was brought down by Zach Horn. Watson on third down. Underneath into the hands of Sternberger. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Sternberger. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. First down, Houston. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And that's going to be caught by Colton. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a gain, a gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. 
But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Brings up second and goal. On second and goal, Watson, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Marshawn Lattimore there defensively. Here's Watson. Going to throw on third and goal. They still can't get it. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. And he'll be caught behind the line of scrimmage at the three. They tried to let the fullback pound it in between the tackles, but he stopped up short. And the Saints able to come up with a goal line stand. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. On second down. Timmons, and space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A gain of nine brings up third and one. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, bye weeks, they're over. We've once again got a full slate of games to get to as we take you around the NFL here in week 12. We'll begin things in the Hoosier State. A couple of dome teams going at it. Indianapolis hosting Atlanta. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. From there, we'll head to Cleveland to check on the Browns at home at First Energy Stadium. And they've got the lead in that ball game over the visiting Jaguars. Baker Mayfield has thrown a touchdown pass. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And they trail that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers, a touchdown pass there. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. Brings up second and four. Second and four. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. This one good for a first down, and also that is catch number 90 for him now on the season. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Number 26. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And a quick slant as the throw is complete. He's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 45-yard line. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. 
So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 45-yard line. There's a throw dropped off to his fullback. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Second and six at the 41-yard line. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The pass. You don't see too many pass catching fullbacks nowadays, partner. In fact, you don't see too many fullbacks, period. Good news, though, he does have decent hands, and we saw it right there on display. going to have a Saints first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. The running back again. Coming up on second and seven. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Timmons looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. It's third down. Now they'll throw here. Out of the gun. And that will be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The kick is good. Makes the score of Saints 24, Texans 21. Well, they don't get a touchdown here in the opening drive in the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. At their own 22-yard line. Here's the Texans' offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. Hey, a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow him to get into the end zone. Yeah, this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. A shotgun snap for Watson. Throw to the right. He's got the tight end here, Sternberger. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there and a first down. A gain of seven. Here's Johnson. Texan. A gain of three, second down. Again, the ball carrier taken down at the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Operating from the gun, Watson. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. He finds his target, Fuller. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. The 
They'll run on first down. Johnson. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20 yard line. The Houston ball you know what really fires up offensive linemen? The when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second and five now. Watson. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. From the gun on third, Watson. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. First down. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. On first down, it's Johnson. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Johnson, the ball well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. To throw on second and six, Watson into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. He's at the 50. The 30, 20, 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Touchdown, Saints. They were in a very good position to come up with a go-ahead score there. A really good drive. Instead, it turns into six points going the other way. Psychologically, I don't know what that's going to do to them. So as a coach, you're looking at that as at least a 10-point swing, right? Because they had the field goal in their back pocket. They certainly did, and you're right. At least a 10-point swing, maybe more. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Texans back out there and ready to go. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's a 20th carry for Johnson. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. The play and looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Watson. Flush to his right. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. Watch that one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. On 
first and ten. Watson. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The ball carrier. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second and five now. Watson. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of seven. And the Texans first down. On first down, it's Watson. Making the catch is Sternberger. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Second and two. Watson to give. This is Johnson. And good running. Going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 13-yard line. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. A five-yard gain on the play. First down, Texan. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. This has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. Gain on the play. Brings up operating from the gun. Watson. His throw caught right around the six. Watson's pass. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. And that big gain may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. Now the man who broke Saints fans' hearts, Greg Zerline, on for the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And the will back down to a seven-point game. Saints 31, Texans 24. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2. You work for anything out there. Watching for trouble on the road and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See who can drive the bus here again on this drive. First and ten at the 30th to throw now on first down. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Fullback out of the backfield. And he's got this down a yard or 
too shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one a first down pickup of eight. Well, probably the only thing.